All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you very quickly how to project your retopologized mesh in ZBrush onto your original mesh. So in case you don't know, you click on the selected mesh you want to export, file, then export selection. Once you're done with this, you open your ZBrush file. As you can see, this is my original mesh. And if you don't know how to import your um, retopologized mesh it's very easy you go append select any of these i normally go for the sphere and then select the sphere go up import and select the retopologized mesh which you exported a minute ago press export all right now you can see your retopologized head is here but you go on the sphere what you just created and it's going to bring you back to your original mesh now Go back down again, click on the sphere, um, what you just um, appended, press insert this time, and you're going to see the retopologized head. There you go. And now you have the retopologized head and the mesh at the same place. But be aware, they might be not in the same location. Press F to see where it is. And as you can see, there's a huge difference between the two. So I'm just going to press Alt and bring up my uh, pivot point and bring down my retopologized head to make sure it's going to match with the original mesh. Uh, this is a little help if you press transparency button. Make sure they align. Yeah, this seems good. Now, add to the retopologized head some division. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you this is what it looks like right now. You can leave the uh, transparency mode. So this is my this is my uh, retopologized mesh, and this is my original mesh. As you can see, this it's quite heavy. So what we're gonna do now? Make sure you bring this up to the top, the retopologized head, and select it. Go to project and project all. This might take for a while. And there you go. If everything worked well, we have now the retopologized head on the right side and the original mesh on the left side. And they look exactly the same. But this one is a lot lighter. All right. If you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And I'll see you in the next one.